time no see everybody welcome back to my channel it's been a minute i've been kind of busy trying to i'm not trying because when you say trying that means you're not succeeding so i'm working to elevate myself growing my business picked up a trade i'm a massage therapist now i'm so glad you guys are still here and for anybody that's new i'm kina this is the empress kina show let's get into it so this series is a five-part series called spiritual warfare what's spiritual warfare what is spiritual warf how you say spiritual spi spiritual spiritual warfare is real there's always a constant balance between light and dark that's happening all of the time around us there are entities angels versus demons constantly yin and yanging balancing each other out first of all you gotta know what side you're on and what side you're choosing what side the choices that you're making is leading you to because you may think you want a side of light but you're actually in darkness you may think you're choosing light but you're actually choosing darkness with your actions so there's always going to be a constant battle between dark and light and that is spiritual warfare you have to know what side you stand on and stand firm on that with the choices you make with the words you speak with the people that you entertain and keep in your circle so let's get into the first part in this series first installment to this series is seven signs you have jealous envious friends around you recognizing your haters first and foremost it is important that you recognize these signs if any of these signs reminds you of somebody in your life you may want to reevaluate that friendship or the role that they play in your life not necessarily saying you got to cut them off and block them on social media and all of this other cancel culture I don't get our generation with all of that cancel culture because in reality relationships don't work like that You're not gonna always get along with everybody that is a part of your life your family your friends, etc But some relationships you will hit a rough patch or you will hit times when y'all go y'all separate ways But that don't mean you gotta cut them off That don't mean you gotta dismiss them from your life altogether It just means that y'all moving in different directions and at some point you'll ebb and flow back together That's just how life works You know not to take it personal when people exit your life If you used to spend this much time with them and now you spend this much time with them It's a part of life, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so the first sign to me if you have somebody around you that's always just trying to one-up you you could say i'm really enjoying reading this book about manifesting wealth and abundance into your life are you just trying to you know recommend something for them to read and instead of them just saying oh, okay yeah i'm gonna read that they like oh well you know one time i read this one book and it was basically talking about that same thing and you should read that okay thanks for the advice it could be something as simple as yeah i think i'm gonna get these designer shoes and then they like oh okay yeah i think i'm gonna get a designer shoe and i think i'm gonna get a new designer bag and i'm gonna get a new designer keychain okay i mean yeah if you always feel like somebody's trying to one-up you and it can be on simple things that person is typically jealous of you because they feel like they're competing with you none of your people in your close circle should feel like they're competing with you that's a red flag right there the second sign i would say if you feel like they try to embarrass you in certain situations guys a lot a lot of the times will try to embarrass their homie in front of women i don't think that's really your homie if he doing that type shit and the same for women if women doing that you get in front of guys and they acting a little bit girl i don't know why you trying to smoke when you know you don't smoke you can't even drink why is you trying to take shots why are you trying to embarrass me you know what i'm saying why are you trying to put me on blast what well, I'm not understanding. It may be something about how you carry yourself that they don't have within themselves. When they see you falling short or they see you make a mistake, now they feel better about themselves because they like, oh, okay, she, here, they ain't perfect. Another sign, and this is mainly a female thing. When you getting attention and they not and they got an attitude. It's a dude trying to talk to you. He like, what's up, man? She, um, we gotta go. We can't talk like, they feel like they ain't get chose. Just peep the way they move when the attention switch to you. So now they got an attitude. Now they ready to go. Now they in a rush. Uh, okay, so the fourth sign is if they low low-key shady they making some remarks that slick off whenever we go out to eat you don't never cover the tip you know if you ain't got money for real then you shouldn't come out to eat Little stuff like that like okay all right a fifth one if you hear your friend sneak dissing on you talking about you behind your back trying to make you look bad around people when you're not around that's a big ass hater i'm not talking about you know you and your friend get into it and then they call their other friend or they call their auntie or they call their mama do you think i'm wrong because all i said was da 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 and then she gonna that's venting because i feel like we all talk about each other behind each other's backs to a certain extent i know i do when i get mad i need to vent but i'm not saying like oh she ugly as hell that's why don't nobody like her that's why she ain't got no friends that's why he lame i'm not talking down on people i'm venting about how i feel about the situation that's a different i knew somebody that would like talk about her friend behind her back she was jealous of her friend they was close she knew stuff about them that other people didn't behind her back she'd be like yeah and you know she didn't pay for those shoes them louis vuitton she be wearing she got somebody to scam those for her okay why 
is you telling her business how she got that first of all you hot you quiet you trying to discredit her to make her look less worthy of the praise that she receives that's a big flag you got a hater on your hands and that person is dangerous to be around because they in your face smiling e he he ha ha but then they behind your back and it's something completely different that means they got ulterior motives be uh, careful number six if they can't show you genuine support they fake happy for you you graduate you finish school of some sort and, and maybe they didn't finish so instead of them good job good job you motivated me like i'm just happy for you in general they like mm -hmm, that's real good mm -hmm. or yo love life looking right yo money looking right everything looking right and you telling them hey, you know this going good this going that da, da, da. they like oh okay cool yeah they don't really got much to say in no situation that's a very delicate situation sometimes they may not be a jealous friend but they may be jealous of you in that moment they may not be where you are so it's hard for them to be happy for themselves so if you're not even happy with yourself you can't be happy for somebody else but still i would be wary of people like that around you when you are elevating to new heights doing good things for yourself i mean those people gonna bring you down you can't even tell them when some good stuff happens to you because you're afraid you might dim they light don't dim yourself for nobody else because they light not as right that don't mean you shine any less the seventh one and this is the biggest i mean it's gonna sound weird but if they are trying to be you you start a business they start a business you go get some new jordans they go get some new jordans you get a new car they get a new car they, they're trying to be you that's some weird shit and then this happened to me and i've seen it happen to other people they admire you so much and they want what you have you may have a lot of friends and they don't have that many friends or you may have a lot of money and they don't have a lot of money or you may have good luck with guys and they don't they want what you have so then they try to emulate and imitate what you doing thinking they gonna get the same result they can't be you 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 can only be you and that's the problem people be trying to be people they not it's only one empress key and that's me okay y'all can't be me and nobody can be you don't try to be nobody else just because we all admire beyonce that don't mean we often to get on stage and start talking about all the single ladies and performing like that's her that's her lane now if you're a singer you're a dancer that's what you want to do great but you can't be beyonce you know what i'm saying it's not to say you can't be as big as her or bigger at some point you know beyonce was looking up to somebody like i'm gonna be like her and now she's beyonce but the point i'm making she created her own lane and that's what everybody gotta do they gotta pave their own way so if you have any people like this in your life that this reminds you of these people are probably jealousy they probably haters haters are really just confused fans that's what i like to call them because they admire you there's something about you that they like but at the same time they either not happy with themselves at the end of the day it boils down to how you feel about yourself you're gonna have people around you that are positive uplifting you elevating you pushing you to be better then you're gonna have people that ain't genuinely in your corner or people that they got their own stuff they got to deal with so they can't really be the best version of themselves meaning that they don't really need to be around you because they're gonna weigh you down you vibrating at this frequency and they vibrating at this frequency now y'all gonna keep clashing because y'all not on the same frequency y'all not on the same wavelength you gotta either cut them off if they become too toxic or you keep them at arm's length you keep them at a distance sometimes they're not even really bad people they trying to figure themselves out beware of the haters and it's important that you recognize those people in your life because those people aren't meant to be in your inner circle they're gonna weigh you down and we don't got time to be weighed down we gotta keep our head above water you can't give your life vest to somebody that's drowning you gotta stay afloat too but if you trying to share your life vest with somebody that's drowning you gonna drown too all right so stay tuned for part two the why you keep attracting clingy friends Hustler, give us your hope she could handle it. Lit, I got a thousand bows of transit. Most y'all gotta take advantage, take advantage. Here's Daddy Rich. Okay, okay.